Hi, um, Sagittarians, and this is Peter the Clairvoyant here, and I'm looking at your star sign here for the month of November 2017. And first thing's drawing me here is, if to say, being a bit sort of wary or concerned over money. And I don't feel like money is as negative as you think it is, but I feel like you have got to look after it. So you're one of the star signs that's definitely got to tighten your belt this Christmas. Because I feel as if you don't, oh, you will be repenting in January, big time, especially when the letters come through the letterbox. So don't spend what you haven't got. And I feel so rainy tin. And I just feel so, but if you don't, I just feel so you're heading for some troubles. So you've got to be wise with your money this year. And if you haven't got it, you haven't got it. Or really, you know, do some really creative shopping and make your budget stretch that bit further. So take your time, don't go panic buying. Look on the internet, buy on the internet, look on eBay, whatever it may be to make that money go that bit further. Something that costs maybe 20 quid on the shops will probably be a 10 or a 15 on eBay. And I'm not talking about buying second hand either. I'm talking about, you know, where you just can get bargains, you're looking for the cheapest, type in the lowest price. And I feel so you'll get it. Uh, so I just feel that this is what you've got to think about now doing your creative shopping And but I feel so that's not just for presents that's right across the board And I feel like I need to start looking at all my finances actually the gas the electric bills all those kind of things now And making some positive savings and then as you do that you'll start to feel better for it I can see you're connecting with somebody who's quite strong willed a bit stubborn, a bit set in the ways, and it's like sometimes it's a constant battle for you to try to work them out about what they're thinking and feeling. And to be honest, you never will, because they have got that kind of temperament where you'll always be second guessing. So you've not got to work them out, what you've got to do is accept them for who they are and what they are. Then as you do that, then I feel so you should be absolutely fine. New beginnings are beckoning you, and I just feel so it's great. And I feel so by the time we sort of get to February, March time, you should start to feel the benefits of these new changes kicking in for you. So all you've got to start doing now is holding on to your money and looking after it, and just generally putting the past behind you. And then as you do that, it, hey, it's all systems go. It's like I feel so you've got to focus on it. Some of you can be thinking about learning to drive or buying a new car. And I feel so if you're learning to drive, that's great. But I just feel so, just make sure you're connecting with a driving instructor that I feel so you feel comfortable with, not an edge with. In other words, you need to feel relaxed with them and then you'll get through it and you'll succeed. But if you're feeling on the edge, it ain't gonna work. And that's gonna be the key. So this is what you've got to focus on a little bit now. And also, as you start to focus on maybe if you're sort of thinking about buying a car, try and sort of put it off till next month or January because that's going to be the right time for you to buy this car because uh, I feel so you'll make savings because it's all again about making your money stretch. But other than that, I just feel so everything seems to be generally okay. It's just about getting money organised. Like I say, I don't think it's as bad as it seems or as you may think it may be. But if you can start looking after what you've got right now, not like after Christmas, then I just feel as though it will be good. So you've just got to look after what you've got. Also, some kind of legal situation could be coming in around you as well. But I do feel like if you look at that wisely and logically, you will get through that and it could all go in your favour. So what you've not got to do now is just sit there and think and over-analyse. You've got to sit there and think and kind of get on with it. And that's going to be the key now for you to moving forward. But other than that, I feel so everything's fine. And next year, yes, should be a better, better year for yourselves. And that's going to be the key. So it's like, out, get this year out of the way, focus on next year, and it's all looking pretty good. And some of you are going to be wanting a holiday. And yes, by all means, go and get that holiday, but again, search for a bargain. I just feel so it's all about getting the best for your money over this next 6 to 12 months, and that's going to be the key of moving forward. Health-wise, just try and set your thoughts a little bit. Try and get some good relaxing quality massages around you that loosens up your muscles, ease tensions around you, and then just keep an eye on your chest area and breathing problems. Um, but other than that, I feel like you should be generally okay.
so that's really good and let's have a look here um, pulling a um, an angel card for you right so any problems that you feel that so you go through now look at it like a blessing in disguise that said you know what everything comes for a reason I'm just going to embrace the changes and as you do that you're onwards and upwards so I hope all that makes sense to you um, so this is Peter the Clairvoyant. If you wanted a private reading, give me a call on 0758 384 or connect with me through peterthecliavoyant.co.uk. Thank you.